Simply put, both devices are the same, except a heat pump can provide cooling in summer as well as heating in winter using reversing cycle, whereas an air conditioner can only cool. The air conditioners actually remove heat and moisture from the indoor space and transfer it to the air outdoors. The heat that has been transferred from this air is carried by a refrigerant to the outdoor heat exchanger. The outdoor ambient temperatures can be quite high during the periods when your space requires air conditioning. The air conditioner is intended for removing heat from area of low temperature and transferring it or pumping it to an area of higher temperature. Mechanical energy is required to pump because we are forcing heat to be transferred in a direction that is opposite to the way heat will flow naturally. Heat pumps are air conditioners that have the ability to operate with a reverse cycle. It is designed to cool a space when operating as an air conditioner, and it is designed to heat a space when the cycle is reversed. The actual reversal of the cycle is accomplished by reversing the flow of refrigerant and causing the indoor coil and the outdoor coils to switch roles. The most important characteristic of a heat pump is that the amount of heat that can be transferred is greater than the energy needed to drive the cycle. The key to the efficiency of a heat pump is the coefficient of performance, the COP. In spite of the first law of thermodynamics, which tells us that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, the heat pump can yield 2 to 6 units of heat for each unit of electricity consumed. The heat pump is not creating this energy, but simply moves heat from cooler outdoor air into the warmer inside. Even in air that seems too cold, heat energy is present. When it's cold outside, a heat pump extracts this outside heat and transfers it inside. When it's warm outside, it reverses directions and acts like an air conditioner, removing heat from your indoor space. It pushes heat in a direction counter to its normal flow. COP is determined by dividing the energy output of the heat pump by the electrical energy needed to run the heat pump at a specific temperature. A COP of 3.5 means that 3.5 kilowatts of heat is output for 1 kilowatt electricity used to drive the process. In simple terms, such a heat pump will be cheaper to operate, provided that the electricity price is no more than 3.5 times the price of an alternative fuel.